What is contrast in storytelling and why is it important to creating more of an emotional connection with your audience? Well, the answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In the last series of videos, you've heard all about the seven C's to sensational storytelling. The truth is there are many more C's. One of the most important is contrast. Contrast is when you show the difference in a situation or in the behavior or beliefs of a character. The greater the contrast, the more compelling the story. Here's why it's important. Take a story of a client who I sit down with who tells me, you know, I've got this speech coming up. I'm a little nervous about it. Uh, got some anxiety, but for the most part, I think I'm in good shape. A week later, the client gives the speech, and they come back and say, hey, yeah, I did a really good job. Felt like uh, I got some good feedback from the audience and uh, probably get a little bit of business. Do you feel or sense a big change in emotion from before the speech to after? Not really. The person felt fairly confident, frankly, going in, and afterwards felt like he got a decent result. That's not going to connect with an audience on a deep level and make them think, oh, I want that result. On the other hand, think about the person who sits down with me and says, Michael, I'm stressed out. I'm not sleeping. Uh, my stomach is in knots all the time. I just wish I hadn't done this. I'm, I'm regretting even saying yes. Three months later, I'm sitting down with the same client, and she says, that was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. I couldn't believe the way the audience reacted to me. And afterwards, people walked up to me and gave me, gave me their business card. And they said they want to do business with me. This is phenomenal. I never expected this. Do you feel the difference in that response? Someone who was stressed out, not sleeping, sick to their stomach, all those negative emotions, just thinking about giving the speech. And afterwards, having a 180 degree different experience, feeling happy, good business out of it, all these positive feelings. That's contrast. If you want to sell your ideas, especially if you're selling products or services, show the contrast in a client who before that individual met you was really struggling, had some pain, if you will, after engaging you, hiring you and using your product or service, let us hear how that person's life is significantly better. The rule of thumb is the greater the contrast, the more compelling the story, the more likely people will want what you're selling. Include contrast in your stories and watch how people respond to your offer. See you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.